Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Marketing Tips with Eric. I wanted to cover kind of some social media strategy. So we wrote an article a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago, on our Facebook page about five tips that real estate agents can do to utilize their social media platform and really engage with their clients and followers on social media. So I know this is gonna apply to a lot of different scenarios, so hopefully it can add some benefit to you. When it comes to social media platforms, there's a lot of choices. You have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, LinkedIn, the list goes on and on. There's a whole bunch of choices. But the bottom line when it comes to social media is there's five key strategies that will help you realize what you need to do to engage with your clients the best way possible and to really track these results and know how to go from there. So we're gonna jump right into it. Number one is creating a game plan. Basically, when it comes to social media, you know what you, you need to know what you're gonna post, right? So we create a content calendar for each month and we know well in advance what we're gonna talk about for the next month so that we can strategically write our articles about that and kind of have a theme going with where we're going with our social media strategy. So if you're just jumping online and randomly posting different content, it's gonna be all over the place and your followers are probably gonna get lost and not know when to follow next. So if you can continually post similar type product in the same fashion each month or maybe quote certain months and uh, questions and answers, those kind of things, you're really gonna engage your followers and help them to know when to come back and find the things that are of interest to them. Next is to pick and choose. So you need to know your audience. Are you teaching or talking to a younger audience, maybe 20 to 30, or are you speaking to an older demographic, maybe 60 plus? The social media networks that you can engage with will highly depend where you need to be and who you're speaking to. Meaning that if you're talking to a 15 to 30 year old crowd, probably Snapchat, Instagram, those kind of uh, platforms are good for that. If you're speaking to an older generation, maybe 50 plus, social uh, Facebook is probably the best audience for you. And there's a mix of strategy based on that as well. So you need to know your audience, who your ideal client is that you're reaching out to. And whether you're in real estate or selling pizzas, that's gonna matter because there's probably different age groups in each of those that are gonna be following you and listening to the advice that you have to share with them. The question though comes with your content is, are you trying to build a brand? Are you trying to be a specific niche in your industry? Or are you trying to build a relationship with your community and really you know, dive down deep into who you are as a business and how long you've been there? There's some real estate teams out there that we work with who've been around for 40 years and they have a strong holding in this marketplace and they're just trying to keep on that relationship deeper and deeper. So they need to know about the city that they're in, the events that are going on. If you're a new brand in that area, you're trying to get as much brand reach as possible and figure out the niche that makes sense for you. So that really affects what your strategy is and the method of how you put your content out there. Next, you need to learn how to use that platform effectively. For example, Instagram is completely different than Twitter and that's completely different than Facebook and so forth. Every platform has its own benefits and really what are you trying to do? So are you trying to show somebody how to do something? Are you trying to show how amazing a product is? Are you trying to maybe just uh, come across as giving information through text or video? So you need to know your content, you need to know how your followers are engaging with you and where they're coming to learn from. Sometimes a video is the best place to engage with them and you can really be yourself and show what's possible um, with who you are. Maybe you just need to show a simple picture of a kitchen. Maybe you're trying to show somebody how to remodel or do something different with a unique uh, situation that way. So really depending on your message and who you're trying to get across to depends on how you wanna present it and what um, platform you're gonna be on. Let me give you a few more examples. If you wanna create like a how-to kind of environment, maybe there's a way that YouTube can kind of demonstrate the video, like here's step one, step two, step three, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. If you're a restaurant and you're showing the ingredients and how you um, make the dish that you're doing, maybe Pinterest is a better place for this and you can demonstrate through photography or even a video how you're gonna make this item. If you're in Facebook and you're trying to engage with followers that you already have, that can be a great platform to show you know, how you communicate and have that conversation back and forth. And that's really what Facebook is great for, just having that conversation one-to-one, -one, whether it's in a private message or just putting the comment out there and hoping that people engage with you back and forth. So what platform you post on really does matter. And then comes into the part that we are great at, the management side of it. So when you post, how often you post, the content that you post, really the direction that you go from there. So if you put out a post, and you get a thousand likes on one and a similar content but only 10 likes on another post, 
you need to take direction from both of those to increase awareness and traffic and clicks and where you're going next. So manage your site. Um, there's a lot of tools like Hootsuite and other platforms like that that can allow you to post at a certain time, um, you know, hit with certain keywords, track the results, know your clicks, know your watches, the view time, all that kind of information. There's a whole bunch of different analytics that you really can follow and then retarget from there as well. I'm not really going to in, get into the paid advertising side of it, but just know that you need to manage your sites. Most people either get really excited and post a whole bunch of content and then stop and then their followers just disappear or else they post so sporadically that their followers don't see any of it and they forget to come and see what it is that you're posting. So if you're going to get into it, be consistent and be strategic with it. So know who you're talking to again and know where you need to put that message so that they see it. You know, how you title the ad, how you um, uh, describe the video, how you take that picture really does matter because that's going to engage with your clients in a certain way. Bottom line is you don't want it to take up all your time, but you also don't want to forget that you're doing it. So you need to have a strategic approach on being able to manage this probably new time um, use in your life. Most people don't have time for social media and that's why they go and either forget about it or they go and hire a company to help them with it. We try to work with both sides of that. So whether we help you to create the content, we help give you ideas and the direction and advice on what's worked well for you in the past and kind of point you in the direction that you should keep going and avoid topics that maybe weren't as popular with your followers. And we also help really just keep the content fresh and engaging so that your clients are interested in learning more and new things and following what you're doing. Okay, and then the last step is measurement. So if you're gonna put anything out there and track it, you need to measure it and know results from it. So it kind of goes back to the analytics of everything. You need to know, you know, if I post this and I get 10 clicks versus I post that and I get a thousand clicks, why did I get so many more likes this way and what happened with this, with this type of a post? The biggest thing to remember though is that social media is a long-term game. It's not a post ones, forget about it, or post ones and have immediate results from it. It's very long-term. It could be six, 12, even longer months out there. Not saying that you have to wait 12 months to get a uh, sell or a close from it, but it just means that the more you go, the bigger the snowball is gonna get and you're gonna get bigger and bigger results the further on you go. So start small and kind of step your pace up to it. Most people that I talk to who've said, oh, I tried Facebook and it didn't work, or I tried social media and I didn't have anything from it, it's because they went really big right up front and nothing happened and they used all their, their budget, all their time and nothing happened. And so what we try to tell people is set a long-term goal. Maybe take your whole marketing budget for the whole year that you're gonna spend on that social media campaign and divide it by 12 and then spread it out and see what happens and then maybe increase it as you see better results from it. So definitely plan on a long-term result from it and know that in the future, big things are gonna come with it. So that's my advice. It's definitely a long-term goal. But bottom line, it's never a set it and forget it type of a campaign. You definitely need to monitor it, make quick adjustments as they say, uh, fix the plane while it's flying, right? Don't land, take the whole thing apart and put it back together. Just keep going, keep posting, keep engaging with your audience and soon enough you'll be to your destination. So I have some notes here and I didn't wanna read this last part but it's so interesting to me that I'm gonna to try to paraphrase it and look at you at the same time. Um, basically it says being active on social media is such a big integral part of it. You can't just post something and hope that it accomplishes the goal that you set out to do. Um, it's a way of strategically placing a strong online presence. Position yourself as an expert in your field and people are going to trust you. The content that you share with people, the way that you engage with them, the responses that you give people ask questions is going to really show who you are. You know, think about when you respond to a social media post as if you're really standing in front of that person talking to them, and that's exactly how people are going to see you. They're going to judge you, they're going to look at you, they're going to base their decision to work on you on how you engage with them, and that's important. So social media can be an incredible place, but it takes a lot of time and it can have an amazing amount of rewards in the end. In addition to that, it can also be a lot of fun. You know, most people get into their trade, their industry, because they're passionate about it. And as you or the person that we're talking about shares the content and describes why they're so excited about it, it's going to come through. It's going to come through in word. It's going to come through in video. I hope you guys can see how passionate about social media and marketing I am in my business. I love to help other businesses succeed and do well with what they really got into. And I'm here to help you bring your business to the next level and get that much better at what you do. So 
that's what social media is all about. Showing your passion and excitement for why you got into it in the first place. So those are my five tips. I know it's very real estate driven, but I know that whatever industry you're in, you can apply it to you and your business. If you have any questions about these tips or wanna dive a little bit deeper, I just skimmed the surface on a lot of this stuff. Message us, give us a call, send us an email. We'd love to dive a little deeper and show you how you can use social media marketing in your business. So thanks again and have a great week.